lin log model. So you have a dependent variable which is linear and you have an independent variable which is in logs. Uh, listen, um, you you have, uh, I have put in the time subscripts here, your t's, okay, but you have to look at this when you look at your data, um, whether you have a time series data or you have uh, the cross-sectional data. Now, supposedly, I mean, you just don't worry about the subscripts right now. But supposedly, in case you want to measure what is beta 2, beta 2 is measured as the change in change in the dependent variable upon the change in log of x. Okay, fine. So, and what is basically dy by dx, which is beta 2 upon x, and this is, um, this is, uh, and this this one is the absolute change absolute change in y and this one is the relative the relative change in y oh sorry in x huh? so whenever i'm whenever you have a log okay and you find out the change in these logs that that will give you the relative changes so, in case if you want to find out, okay, let me just write it like this. Your dy is basically beta 2 by x into x. Now, if I want to find out the absolute change in y, okay, then, uh, then uh, for a percentage change in x, so I'll be multiplying, multiplying uh, this beta by 0 0.01 units okay that is or in other words you will be dividing this beta by 100 units so for example so how do you interpret this model you interpret this model in this way that is if x changes if x changes by 1% okay then the absolute then the absolute change in y is 0 0.01 beta 2 units you just divided by 100 okay now supposedly if you have the model which is which is saying that y hat t is equal to 2.67 plus 3.1 log of x t hat so how do you interpret this the uh, interpret this beta 2 coefficient you'll say that in case if x changes by 1% then y changes by 3.1 upon 100 units okay you won't write it percent because there is no log with y huh so in case if y changes by 1% sorry in case if x changes by 1% then y changes by 3.1 upon 100 units